leverage blows. Competitive spirits. Yeah, thank you. Happy day and what it do? Yes, sir. It's your boy K here. Look, being average at anything is never great. Being above average at everything kind of makes you awesome. Yes, sir. And I go by 3% Kai. And the three represents the percentage of the world that's identical twins. And of course, I'm still seeing, tasting, touching, hearing, and smelling what the rock is cooking. Huh? So what I got to complain about? <laughs> so we actually have somebody joining our conversation today. Yes, sir. Tate, what up, baby? What's good, bro? Yes, What's sir. Good, yes, sir. So, you know, if you're new to the show, me and Kay, we are identical twins. People tend to think identical twins, they can think the same thing, they can feel the same pain. I assure you, Kay, you felt that? Nah, bro. We cannot feel the same pain, <laughs> but perhaps we have uh, similar thoughts on occasion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to count to three. Uh -huh. I'm going to say what's on my mind. I'm going to say what's on my mind. And Tay, I actually want you to join us. Say what's on your mind when I count to three, all right? Anything. Gotcha. Anything. Y'all ready? Yes, sir. One, two, three. Brian Bar 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 Oh, all right. <laughs> so, as you see, um, all of us are not having identical thoughts, but me and Kay, we are identical twins. Yes, sir. Just not between the fingertips. You heard? Mm. All right, so, every time. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so how we're going to start the pod today is um, our topic is accountability. Slash responsibility. Right, slash responsibility. I have the definition for accountability. So I'm going to go ahead and set that off with the fact or condition of being accountable or, respons or responsibility. Anyb anybody got the... Re did, did you want to... Shoot off. I had the definition too. I've been following. You know, okay, okay, all right, all right. So, okay, uh, okay. <laughs> definition of responsibility: state or fact of having a duty to deal with something or having control over someone. There's actually another uh, definition as well: opportunity or ability to act independently and make decisions without authorization. Yes, sir. So being a boss, a boss, Rick and Ross. So look, look. So we're gonna jump in this way, right? The American Society of Training and Development found that you have a 65 percent chance of completing a goal if you have an accountability partner, and if you have a specific accountability appointment with a person you like, you committed to, you increase that by up to 95 percent. Mm. Now, if I if I lost anybody, what that means is we have this podcast. I hold K, K accountable here. Yes, sir. So I'm more likely to. Do what I said I was gonna do, or I'm gonna hear him say something about it. Word. And yes, then, Sersky. and then, in, t in terms of like the time, if you have a specific <laughs> time, then if I say, "Okay, yo, we're gonna meet at the track at 6 a.m. and we're gonna run." I'm more likely to go because he gonna be there at 6 a.m. and if he's not, he gonna be like, "Yo, Kai, what, what you doing, my boy?" Right. So if 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 you having trouble like with you know holding yourself accountable, get an accountable uh, accountability partner. Right. You know what I'm saying? H how do you how do you guys feel about? That. 100%. Okay. He agreed 100%. 100 and I, I do as well, but something in there. I'm going to get into a misconception. Early. Yeah, early. Yeah, early. Really, really. Um, a misconception. Making mistakes or not achieving the desired outcome means you're not being accountable. That is not the case, right? You can be held accountable just because take take the coach. Take coaches, right? Right. And if you don't, I don't know how many games – uh, you have in the season, but if y'all go undefeated, it's not a failed season, nah. right? You're you're still accountable for for what happens, but it don't mean that you failed anything, right? Right. Can, 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 you, can you run that? Uh, the <laughs> yeah. make oh making mistakes or not achieving the desired outcomes means you're you're you aren't being accountable. The desired outcomes. So let's say his his uh he want his goal for the season was to make the playoffs. Right. If you didn't make the playoffs, that doesn't mean like you're 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 not accountable for that. Like you still being accountable, as in because. All right, so accountability is like the measure, right? Right. Re responsibility is something that's that's happening over time, and accountability is is the measurement of it. Okay. Right. So just because you didn't get that desired outcome doesn't mean you wasn't being accountable. But I do want to say, Tay, if y'all didn't make the playoffs, that to me, uh, y'all you you failed that season. You failed your goal. Hey bro. yo, underachieved. I, hey, I mean, you can hey, spin it. Yo. You, you can you can sauce <laughs> it up, but if you didn't make the playoffs, come on, bro. <laughs> yeah, but that yeah, like like bro said, that's not. Technically, not being accountable. No, I, I know. I'm, you know, I'm taking it off. Yeah, you. Word. I'm gonna hold you accountable by saying y'all had a failure season. I'm gonna take that. And he, oh, yeah, but say, yeah, you can say I agree, my <laughs> boy. We was <laughs> ass and a half, I'm but still. That. Hold on. So what I was trying to say was responsibility is ownership, accountability is measurement. So Word. okay, and just because I was gonna touch on this a little later, but I did my infamous keyword search. I use the keyword search tool, right? When, that, I, which, oh, when, when, oh. when I type in um, a word and then it shows me how many times people search this word and what's the most searched word. You, you gotta say something about it? <laughs> like about say, I, boy, I did the same thing. I want to do that. Oh, <laughs> I, 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 it looked like you were saying, man, this boy spewing that bullshit. <laughs> but uh, okay, so it, um, I typed in accountability, and the first or what was searched the most often was accountability versus responsibility. Right. And you just touched on something with um, responsibility is ownership, right? So let me just break it down a little bit more, right? Peel back an onion. Right. Accountability means 
like you said, taking ownership of the results that have been produced, where responsibility focuses on defined roles of each team member and what value they can bring to a table because of their specific position. So then, in short, um, accountability is assigned to one individual only, right? Results focused, and usually an explanation is owed. Like, if you're being accountability, uh, or being accountable. Push back, alert. Push, it. push back, alert. Push it. Alert. Yo. <laughs> Hold on, you just said accountability is assigned to one person. That is specific to whatever situation that is. We can have, if, if we're a team, me, Tate, Kai, yep. we're a team, right? We can all be held accountable for something. Yeah, but I can't be held accountable for his role in whatever we had to do. He's accountable for that. I'm accountable for whatever I messed up in or achieved, and you are too. Right. I guess I was just thinking more still of sports. Like, you know, it, it, it takes more than one. Wait, hold on. Wait, wait. Tate looked like he wanted to say something about that. What's good, oh, my brother? What you got? What's I'm good? But that wouldn't be taking accountability together as what all three of us, what is specifically what we're right. doing. That's, okay, so how does um, – and, and educate me because I'm not sure. What does accountability look like for a team? How can a whole team take accountability hmm. for something? Okay, us three, right? We're in a pie, right? Right, right. I showed up on time. Yep. Oh, you shit. feel me? Woo! I am glad he said that. Yo, for Kai, oh, Kai God. was late. Why we got to get to that? A couple minutes on Kai time. Kai stayed here, just and he was minutes. late. <laughs> just a couple minutes. You know, you know what, what, I, what I found is that the closer you are to something, the more likely, this is from my experience, the more likely no, you're going to be late. No, this is for you. That's why I just said no, my experience. No, yeah, no, no, no. I know, but it's, I feel like you're trying to take a... No, no, like no, no. This is my experience. No, no. This is this is me. This is you, big boy. Okay, this is yeah. You. So the closer I am to something, the more little lax I am with the time. But I do respect people's time, and I apologize to Sir Tate here for um, you know. <laughs> yeah, but you you took accountability. You went and got the water. Uh, right, right, right. But I, I, you touch it up. It. You touch it up. It. Either you, way, that was <laughs> exactly. <Very wet. laughs> Touche, man. My uh, my apologies. Let me go back. Uh, so responsibility is usually it can it can be shared. The responsibility can be shared. Right. It's, Task or project focus, and usually an explanation is not owned. You don't need to have an um, explanation when talking about responsibility. That's that's what I found when I did uh, my infamous keyword search in the keyword search tool. Okay. Right. I just, hold on. Let me just kind of expound on that just a little bit. Responsibility is an ongoing duty to complete the task at hand, right? Accountability is what happens after the situation occurs. I, yeah, I mean, you're not saying nothing different than what I said, my boy. I'm just saying it better. That's all. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can you weigh in on who said what better? He said, y'all both said it pretty good. We ain't going to put them on the spot like that. Nah. <laughs> Yo, so, yeah, it, was, it was a twin thing. Same thing, different way. No, 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 yeah, 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 no, no, yeah, yeah. For sure. Fraternal thoughts. <laughs> yeah, bring it back to the intro. Yo, so there is, <laughs> there's four components uh, to responsibility, right? It's environmental, damn, oh, philanthropic. Like you was worried how he's gonna pronounce that philanthropy, yep. but philanthropic, yeah. There we go. Damn, that was, that was a tongue twister for me. Uh, ethical and economic. So in saying that, on insights.theberkeleygroup.org says 87 percent of consumers will purchase a product because a company advocated for an issue they cared about. Now with that, wait, wait, um, like the consumer cared about an issue. The yeah, consumer, yeah, okay. issue the consumer cared about. Are you like that at all? Like, let's say Godspeed. Do you give a damn? What they're advocating, or you just like the hat? Um, I do like what they're advocating. Right. I like the hat, but I like what they're advocating first. Okay. I like the uh, the guy that owns it. He's like advocating, like a you know, got a. Nice if if they advocating for some uh, diversity, I'm 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 more likely to buy your shit. Okay. Okay. So, so all right. So what? Okay. So it says 62 percent of consumers want companies to take a stand on issues such as sustainability, transparency, fair employment practices. Right. So the the reverse to that is if uh, a company, let's say. Godspeed, right? If Godspeed and for our listeners, Phew. Tate is wearing a <laughs> Tate wearing a Godspeed hat, right, right? Right. So that's when we say Godspeed. That's what we're referring to right now. But let's say the owners of Godspeed. Um, what, what's something you really care about, like morally? Family. Family. All right. So if you found out the, the owners of Godspeed was shitty family people, right? Like they they doing their family wrong, dirty, and would that had deterred you from buying the hat? Oh, I have to put them down. You got, oh, oh, it would. Oh, yeah, for, sure. oh, for real? Okay. Even for sure. if it's flamingy flyer? For sure. <laughs> said, I said flyer, my fault. For I meant sure. fire. You would? For sure. Wow, bro. Respect to you because I, I don't think I'd be able to do that. For if it's sure. fire. Yeah, yeah, me, yeah, respect. It's not even that it's fire. De it depends on the level, though. So, oh, oh if, level, if, if it's how, ultimate how you, heat 3000. I mean, wait, wait, hold on. Let me test this real quick. Let me test this real quick. Do, uh, do you, are you familiar with Chick fil A? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do uh, you eat Chick fil A? No. Uh. But not for the reason that people aren't eating Chick fil A. Okay, I was about to sauce you up, but you got me. 
But I mean, that, different day, different day. I don't, I don't, I don't eat Chick Fil A myself, but I don't even know what's going on with Chick Fil A. No, because they stand the, the whole like gay stuff. They don't, they don't, they don't mess with that. Oh, they, and if that yeah. trigger warning, if that's a trigger warning for anybody, yeah, my apologies. Trigger warning. You know what I'm saying, but uh, <laughs> so in saying that, like I realize, like I don't, I don't give a damn. <laughs> if I think something looks good, like I'm not going above and beyond to find out what they're doing. And not not saying that you are, or but even if I like hear something on social medias, right? Or I see I, I'm scrolling and I don't know if I'm gonna stop to read it and then say, you know what? The those pallies that I like, I ain't wearing them no more. Like I, I don't think that I'm explain that. real quick what pallies are. I'm not sure if you're familiar oh, with pallies. Oh, pallies is these kind of boot I ain't don't judge my boots that are going now. This is a different kind of boots that I wear. So if I like this uh, my it's favorite an kind of brand boot. Timberland. That's what you're trying to say. Hey, yo. <laughs> it's an all brand Timberland. Hey, yo. <laughs> you see trying to sauce it up. I mean, it's <laughs> my favorite kind of boot. You know, got the little Latin man. Hey, just call it what it is. You tried to squeeze that in my <laughs> You definitely did. My boy been hating since birth. <laughs> <This bottom. laughs> but yeah, I came out first, but we ain't gonna talk about that. We ain't gonna oh, talk about yeah, that. I ain't got nothing for you, bro. But go, going back to um, uh, accountability and how I was saying, like, you can have an um, accountability partner, right? So um, you can easily lose motivation in the process of a trying to achieve a goal, right? Like, sure. So, but when you're able to leverage an accountability system, like having a partner or um, a time-specific thing, right? Right. All you need is a, a smart goal and let, uh, the willingness to let somebody else help you. Achieve that goal, and you're more likely to achieve that. And when I say smart goal, I'm not saying like goals can be dumb or anything. Smart is an acronym. <laughs> all right, it stands for specific. So being clear, and specific on the the goals and actions to achieve your goal. Okay. Measurable. Obviously, you need to know like what what does success mean? Like how can you hit success? Right. So you got to have a way to measure that. Right. Actionable. What actions can you take? To achieve that goal. Right. Like, if I want to beat you up, make sure I throw lefts, rights, lefts, that, rights. <laughs> that <is> a, <laughs> so you say, yep. <laughs> that's a pipe dream, my boy. <laughs> Come on, boy, the, man. The R stands for realistic, and the T stands for time-bound. So that's a smart goal. Specific, measurable, actionable, realistic, and time-bound. You dig? So Straight, like you that. Want to check, check on that. Do you guys have, I mean, um, our anniversary anniversary episode my fault i'm talking like k right now but our anniversary episode um we announced our smart goals for last month now i'm just bringing that up right now do you have any um smart goals in your near future like that you want to achieve whether it's for y- yourself or your, your teams or a few smart goals um any you want to share you don't have to yeah, like you don't, you don't you don't have to don't put that pressure on yourself. Yeah, my fault. My you know what I'm saying? Is, my list is as tall as me, bro. He said, hey, hey respect like, yeah. it. <laughs> now, now, I just hope, I know you said you, your list is as tall as you. Now, on the smart goals, the R stands for realistic. Nah, they're, they're for sure. Okay. I try to keep it very realistic, to All be right. honest. But, I mean, what's real, but realistic, that's a, there's a fine line with that word, too. Realistic? Yeah, well, he's saying, what, what he's saying, my boy, he's saying what's realistic to him Maybe the dream world for your dumbass, all right? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> well, but I think you, realistic. There's there's a there's a universal meaning to it, and I just I could touch on it real quick. Like go, avoid go things that's gonna overwhelm you and add unnecessary stress and frustration. You but I understand what you said, but no, I'm just okay, giving the okay. universal for the people that's listening or watching on YouTube. We respect, respect it. What up, though? But like, YouTube. yeah, <laughs> like uh, that. There's a universal meaning or definition behind it right so that's what i want to say but i understand that you your goal could be to make an aggressive layup because you trash but me you know what i'm saying i, I could do all that freaky stuff <laughs> but we ain't gonna talk about that right now hey, yo, <laughs> i'm talking about basketball when i said freaky stuff <laughs> goddamn. <laughs> no but i, I was because you know everybody's um stress tolerance is different right For sure mm-hmm. so you in there you was stressful to you may not be stressful to tate i understand that i just wanted to get the universal definition out there i hear you my boy yeah realistic just have some pushback in there right okay so who would i be if i did not throw any pushback in there so okay what i'm gonna ask both of you guys this real quick right um so when you need to like if you need someone to pick you up and you have an emergency at the house right yeah and this there's this thing a truck that has sirens on it and it comes get you what is that called Ambulance? What is it called? The what you say? The truck that has sirens on it? Yeah. You, if you needed to be picked up, like on the side of the road, and you need, it was an emergency. Triple A. All right. <laughs> you you said the first. Say it again. What ambulance? Like oh, emergency yeah. assistance. Yeah. Oh, what? What he just said? Say that word. Ambulance. Again? Can you say that word? Ambulance. Wow. Okay. So the other day, I'm I'm talking to my wife. I'm like, yo, on the highway, there was a major crash. Follow me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got a little story here. There's a crash. She said, what happened? I was like, I don't know, but I see two cop cars, seven fire trucks, and I see three ambulances. <laughs> and she, right, she said, "Wait, Kai, repeat that. Run that back." So my I said, stupid. three ambulances." She's like, "Hold on, you're pronouncing it crazy." Wait, how are you saying that? Ambulance. Ambulance. 
Where'd you get that from? Yeah, where did you get that? I thought no one ever gave me pushback on no, it. No, listen, he. That, I skipped third grade. Yeah, Kai couldn't read. No, no, I skipped third grade. <laughs> hey, reading got nothing to do with nothing. Reading and spelling got nothing to do with my genius, goddamn. And your lance. Hold on, but hold on. Okay, so if I said, if I said, yo, take. There's Amber Lambs down the street. You don't understand? You, you're not going to understand what I'm saying? I would have stopped you just like your girl was like, For real? Can you repeat that? Wow. I would have told you to repeat it. I wanted to see if you're going to keep saying it the same way. That's and, when I would have known. So I y'all actually it. take the time to say ambulance? Ambulance, ambulance yeah. That shit, y'all. It's the same as you ambulance. Yeah, yeah. You, you say, <laughs> <laughs> nah, I ain't going to lie to you. Take sound like you was beatboxing. You say, I'm letting beatboxing. you know how you were sounding, my boy. All you right. sounded terrible. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was, um. yeah, I didn't know I was saying it wrong. Nobody ever gave me pushback, but I appreciate that you said that. If you heard me say that, stop right there. I appreciate that, appreciate brother. That, brother. So yeah. I would, I would know what you, my wife. what you meant, though. By the way, I would know what you meant, but I, I might not have like it depends on how serious the situation was. I might not have stopped you and corrected you then, but when we got back, be like, yo, yo, Kai, yeah, it's <laughs> ambulance, my boy. No, that would have been a joke right there. Oh, you, you, you know, joke right there. Like, the, I'll repeat that. Off the head. Well, that's what I'm saying. It depends, like, what the situation. Like, if we see somebody with blood on them and stuff like that, Could I don't think I want to be joke. See, Tate talking about, nah, you gotta repeat that. But before we go help them. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So, so now we know how y'all so get how down you in came, the came, your shorty was right to get you. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that was messed up, bro. Let me rock. Let me rock. Because, I mean, mm-hmm. so to be realistic, like who? when do, am I going to need to say ambulance right? When am I going to need to say that? When you're trying to, uh, if a foreigner came came around, okay, right? and it was like, excuse me, sir, what is that? A, a foreigner? Yeah, foreigner. What, am I supposed to have an accent or something? Say foreigner? Foreigner. Say it again? Foreigner. I'm, I'm reaching. I'm reaching. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> breathe, reach, <laughs> breathe, stretch, shake. <laughs> <laughs> breathe, stretch, shake, and let it go. Yeah, I'm gonna let that go. <laughs> Golly, real quick. I know. I know. Um, where the topic is accountability, right? Right. So I'm. I'm. Uh, this is my attempt to hold you guys accountable in a real way. Mm-hmm. Do you? Sh- do you shower? When? When do you shower at night? Like, I mean, do you go to bed without showering? No, I try my best to no matter what before I go to bed take a shower. Oh, right. my boy is. I feel like I try my best. <laughs> I feel like, no, 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 it's no. Not real, real, no I I respect. Last I, night I took a shower before I hopped in the bed. Night before, like, okay. You know what I'm saying every depends on the night. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Like, no, we no. go out, come home. Yeah, that's <laughs> not a shower before the bed. That's take your stuff off. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Because he showered already. He's saying, he, all right, you showered already. Yeah, you went out. You came back home, right? Let's yeah, say you went to go get some groceries. Rest. All right, you ain't sure to go to the restaurant. Yeah, yeah. I got dressed, shower, got dressed before y'all left. Perfect. We come home, had a couple drinks at the. Uh, restaurant. Yeah. When we come home, we not showering. I'm a, hold on. Let me take a sip real quick. Kai drink and, and I, I heard it, beverage like all of us. Right. And, and I hope that was dramatic. And that's a little bit like because people you want to go outside when you come back in your house when you, before you get in your bed you always want to take a shower. But that circumstance, you are putting too much emphasis on the butt part, and I don't like that. So I'm here to hold you accountable. Oh yeah, let's go. Okay. Hey, you yo! you said that you felt attacked <laughs> and you should have felt attacked, my boy. Yeah. Because you, there's if you are outside of your crib for more than. 30 minutes. There is no way in hell that take a goddamn shower before you get back. Listen, listen. He's saying this because he, on the first episode that we had, right? It <laughs> oh, was. I remember. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Little <laughs> booty faced boy over That's here. Not what, no, was, hell no. Was drying his face last after he hit his ass crack. <laughs> and now he's trying to put that. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I, I appreciate you holding me accountable to that. <laughs> yes, sir. I have switched my ways because of that accountability, right? Mm-hmm. So I am no longer Little Face Boy, Little Face Booty Boy, whatever you call little me. Little Booty Face Boy. <laughs> that was a little wild. Yeah, it, <laughs> hey, hey, man. But at the same time, yes, I was drying my face off last after I dried my ass and hit my nuts, right? But I still mm. took a shower before I hit bed. Unlike this guy and you, y'all be outside for a whole three hours. And Wait, we not, we not just gonna let you gloss over that? But we were like it was normal. It. No, I know, but but you just went into depth. Like I got in yeah, depth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, after I hit yeah. my, I slide through my ass, crack and hit my. Bar. I don't know if that's what you said. I did that's not what say it sounded like. <laughs> you heard what you. How heard many times have you have you had pink eye? No, I, I've never had pink eye. I've never had pink eye. Right. Yeah. You, know, you know that pink eye. So pink you know what that means. But but you were what you dried your face first, right? Yeah, as soon as I could. Yeah, he was drying his face after he dried his ass. But everything so, was clean already, my boy. <laughs> so he was just Not particles. It's work. called particles, bro. There, there was no, everything I washed out in the shower. And, and you got hair, you probably throw the cap on. Yeah, no, 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 so no. Make sure. No cap, no cap. I need that moisture. My I got these dripping. No cap. Drip, dripping down. Are you? Yo, man, hey, look, man, I feel attacked. There's two against one. We're not going to do that. Hey, yo. Not today. Not today. Please, can we get off that? I don't know why I brought that up. My fault. Yeah. My fault. Yeah. My <laughs> respect, bro. Story Boulevard with no destination in sight. Now, Tate, did you have anything you wanted to get off real quick uh, on the? Nah, we're gonna keep, we're we're gonna keep, we're gonna keep the ball rolling. I right, bet, bet, bet. Any bet. more misconceptions, real quick? Yeah, of course, of Let's course, of course. So another misconceptions: uh, you have to demand accountability, but obviously ownership can't be forced. Right, right. right. So wait, misconception. That, that's an, who? Um, ha, so, did you ever think that? Because I don't know why that's a misconception. 
you have to demand accountability. Yeah, like because you don't have to demand accountability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I understand that. I don't think that's pretty clear. Right. It's like who? Clear. That I don't know who you got to demand accountability. But I mean, I guess I can see if you if you think that you're a a leader. I think leaders demand accountability. For sure, yeah, if you're yeah, leading yeah, someone yeah. and you they, and you give them a task, right? So yes, right. All right, so another one I got right. is uh, being held accountable means being punished when you don't do what you're supposed to do. Punishment and accountability, no sir, no sir, no sir, no, ski. Sir. Yeah, just because you didn't reach again, it's like goes to the other one. Just because you didn't reach set goal or whatever you set out to achieve, you're not gonna get punished for it. Just you know, but you be can though. Next time. But, huh? but you can. Like if if I'm holding you accountability uh, accountable mm-hmm. and, and my way cause I'm speaking like hey again my bad bro but if, if my way of holding you accountable is to smack you real quick and then say you did that wrong like you know what I'm saying you are getting punished no we just gonna be fighting bro I, well you oh, yeah whatever whatever <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's not usually want to fight that's I'm yeah. just I'm trying to get your attention because if I just said it alone you probably wouldn't have been receptive to it but I gotta do something to get your attention so I say a hard smack I said smack you real quick that's your punishment and now here hold this hold, hold these words you dig. You figured down me, yeah, yeah. So hold, oh, okay. So um, there's this um book. <laughs> it's called the 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 power of habit by Char- I'm about the butcher's last name, but Charles Duhigg. Wow. Hey, I try. I mean, you say yamalam, so I mean, <laughs> <laughs> nothing surprises us right now. At this point, <laughs> take, take rolling his eyes like shit. <laughs> he said, "I'm about to start let stop listening to and your you, ass." And you, and you keep saying, "I'm talking like K hey, now." You're right. not taking. You're not taking accountability. Oh, damn! On the spot. Eh, wow. Eh, eh. <laughs> Like right now. But that, that's that's my way of telling K like what I hear when he talks. Mm. So I'm trying to let him. We don't have a mirror here, so yeah. I, I gotta be his mirror. So where's the accountability for how you're talking on the pod? Right, because Tate has been on here this whole time and has heard K speak like this. Settle, my boy's pretty. I'm on it. Right I'm now. on it, man. Right now, I'm on it, man. Right now, hey, hey Tate, you. <laughs> hey Tate, let me holla. Let's have a come flap <laughs> off here, right? <laughs> well, you know what? You know why? Because we was, you know, upstairs bond. You know, we was talking. Yeah, yeah. We was, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, so no, no, don't, 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 yes, don't, don't give him a pass. Right. Don't give him a pass. No, 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 no. You know, you got to take you know, for this for this little <laughs> so, thing so, that we. Yeah, we got chemistry, but that that's neither here nor there. We we gonna talk about that. We gonna we gonna talk about that next time. Get back to it, please. Okay, so the book the book is um the power of habit by Charles Duhok. My fault. Okay, wow. so it, it talks about um, cues, routines, and rewards. I'm talking about like accountability, right, as a right. whole. So first, there is a cue, which is a trigger that tells your brain to go into an automatic mode in which habit to use, right? Right. And then there's the routine, which can be physical or mental or emotional. And then finally, there's there's a reward. Reward is important. Like you need to know that there's a reward, right? Right. Um, which it helps your brain figure out like if this particular loop is worth remembering worth for the future, for sure. right? So, over time, this loop becomes more and more automatic, and then the cue and the reward become intertwined until a powerful sense of anticipation and craving emerges. So if mm. you if you practice these things, right? You will find yourself holding. I mean, you will find that you will hold yourself accountable less because you're just doing things like you're creating habits and whatnot. Right. So, um, yeah, that's the what I gotta put out in the world. Anybody got something to say about that? No, nah, I mean it makes sense because remember you was like you you wanted to make sure that you beat your meat every day. That was off. <laughs> air, that was off air. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was all. Are you judging me, nah, sir? No, th- those no. was jokes, Tate. Please, yeah, don't, don't, don't judge this man. <laughs> those was jokes. I was just trying to rock and roll with <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, those was jokes. <laughs> so. Um, <laughs> K, K, where we at on time right now? We bro. good. We we good. We good. We good. All right. I'll so you know. I uh, just uh, allow me to have um, like a minute of um, to be uninterrupted, real quick. You so it, when um, when talking to okay, puppies puppies are cute, right? Puppies are cute, but just because a, a puppy is cute, remember that that puppy is not gonna be a puppy for his whole life. The puppy's gonna grow up and be a big dog, and you're still gonna have to show that dog the the love that it deserves, just like you did when it was a puppy, right? Right. There, there's people out here that's not that that don't deserve to have dogs. I think having a dog is a privilege. Yo, I just wanna. I know you said on the You sound like you like getting into. I, I'm not gonna lie. Like that, I I'm affected in a real way. It, I, what, something what, bothers me. Yeah. Are you you can get off? I got something to go with that. Too. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So okay. Just let me, and, and, so yeah, I, I just I'll wanna pick s- back off you. Okay. Here's a couple signs that you don't deserve to have a dog right now in your life, right? If your dog, if you see your dog rib cage, you do not deserve to have that dog, right? If you only take that dog out to use the bathroom and go back in the house, you do not deserve to have that dog. If 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 you when you drink water, 
If your dog don't have no water always in their bowl, you don't deserve to have a dog. A dog needs to be outside from time to time, needs exercise just like you need exercise. Right. Yes, I am a little bit um, in my feelings, and in my feelings to me means my tone of voice, yeah. but th this shit bothers me. Not everybody deserves to have a dog, bro, and get out your pride. Know that you, you're probably not the best person to have this dog, and let that dog go if you, if these things apply to you, let that dog go. Right. Ted, you wanted to get out to some of my fault. Yeah, you're right. Absolutely. Because uh, my girl, she has a dog, and she's um, real good. Hey, yo. <laughs> hey, yo. Hey, yo. She's a real good dog owner. Okay. Like, you know, okay. yeah. she's not one of them. Right. Great. So she's taking him to uh, one of my homies, local. Yeah, might have heard of him. Uh, Seal, uh, 203 Dog Life. Okay. From yep. Norwalk. Went mm -hmm. to school with me and all that. It got a nice little uh, thing going with the dogs. Okay. Um, in the You know, they were having a conversation about, you know, classes, because she's going to put him in class with him and everything. And um, she was. He asked her, um, you know, are you gonna snip this? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She was like, No, I want to mate him. And he's like, Why? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And she's like, She wasn't expecting that question. Yeah. And he's training dogs. Got dogs in his car. Everything. Right. Runs classes. And um, she was like, You know, he's nice. I want to, you know. And he was like, You're gonna have how many more? Whatever the litter is of him now. Mm. This many more dogs to the world. Mm. Right. Respect. So it's like try and get her to, to really think about what you're about to do. He needs to be trained. Right. So he's about to be the father of how many dogs. <laughs> and and we just, two, that's two hundred three. What? What's uh, the dog life. Two hundred three. He's uh, located in Stanford though. He's from Nog, but I think his um his business in Stanford. Uh, location. So Stanford. shout out okay. to two hundred three dog life. Right. Yeah. He's um he's moving, bro. He's he's doing his thing. He's got a, like a a nice thing on with the dogs. Like, I'm gonna right. put that link in in the show notes. If you give yeah, me that, I'm gonna put that you. in the show Immediately, notes. Immediately, he's like, why would you? you right. That's so, like, all these dogs got to find a home and right. have somebody like you to Yo, bring them I, to class and all of these things. And he's carrying around dogs and walking them and up and down. I respect that because day. somebody could, like, that could have deterred someone from his business. But the fact that he said, no, look, it's not even about that, I respect that. Right. And make it, it, make it easier for him. It cuts, you know, a lot of the, uh, you know, a lot of they, the, the, the horniness. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, like, yep. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So Respect. He just literally was just like. You got a dog, not, you got a, you know what I'm saying? You're going to create more that's not going to be taken care of. Right. Kind of going into what, yeah, I was just what saying. you're saying. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, respect uh, Hundo P. So, again, shout out to 203 Dog Life. Uh, to piggyback off that, what I was going to say was, I mean, I seldom, not seldom, I I love watching Animal Planet, Discovery <laughs> Channel. Yeah. Like, I, I I don't know. It's it's like calm and relaxed. I'm at the crib. I smoke a little bit of hookah. And, but can I just interject real quick? Go when ahead. K says he loves watching Animal Planet, what he's saying is he loves watching his um, Snapchats and yeah, he loves watching his Snapchats back. I'm not sure if you caught that. So, K is part of the Animal Kingdom. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Let's get it. Anyhow, <laughs> so, uh, in, uh, in that, and then, okay, so you guys are talking about dogs. So, just for any pet owners, pets can actually teach us responsibility. Right. For sure. Right. And that, I mean... Yeah, so it, it's crazy that uh, patience is a big thing that uh, Fresco taught me to, to have patience. Fresco's our dog, by the way. Yeah, Fresco is our dog. Cute ass dog, but yeah, patience. Hey, yo. If you, can, if, if you can have patience with a dog, more than likely you can have patience with a kid. Right. I think it takes more patience for a dog. If they're kids. I have a puppy right now. It's a kid. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that's, yeah, that's what I mean. Right now with my older dog, so she got a little um, supervision. Well, she's going to use the bathroom somewhere. She's right. going to use the weave pads, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But she's... She's a puppy. Right, 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 right. But, I, you know, make sure they have like a little 45 minute walk before I came. Boom, by the bang. Water in the bowl. In so, the water in the bowl. A so, little bit to so snack which, on So basically, what you're need, saying you is saying? you did your responsibility and made sure, sure they were taken care of before you left the house. Yeah, and I got a game after this. I'm more so got to get back to, to the crib to make sure they good before, rather than the game. Boom, you know by the bang. You the sound like an is, awesome pet dad, bro. Nah, those, 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 my kids, for Re real. Respect, brother. You know what I'm saying? Respect. Give me some of that, bro. I don't got no kids, so those is the. Yeah, we ain't got no. We ain't got no goddamn kids either. Yeah, you know oh. <laughs> so you know, like a dog is yeah, it's your child. Your kid, bro. Or I mean, for for the I don't want to just uh, um, shout out to the cat owners too. Oh I mean, yeah, absolutely. I, absolutely. I got two cats. I, I, cats I don't. Um, I mean, I'm not a cat they, person. They are at parents all. though. Huh? I mean, you don't. You don't. No, uh, yeah, they're, they, they're, like they're kids, definitely though. independent. Oh yeah, but, for sure. But I'm just saying, there is certain responsibility. You got to clean their litter, yeah, right? You yeah. got you do got to make sure they eat unless right. you got some type of self sufficient feeder, which. Yep. I like, mean, like I ain't go, got one of those. Like to go hunt. Because <laughs> <laughs> like cats do that, you know what I'm saying? They like to go no, out that's and hunt. The mice is, Obviously, yeah. I'm playing with the mice. <laughs> but the mice is out here running, you know what I'm saying? That's what they would do, though. Like, cats do that. Like, they they think that they're doing something good for you. They'll bring you, a like, a, a mice or a mouse. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, bro, what Ooh. you doing? 
I don't. Yeah. Would you those gonna cook that? We didn't have those in the crib. <laughs> <laughs> you're probably, Bear, you're probably where, bringing the. You said, yeah, the where'd you get that from, from? Right? Yeah. yeah, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't be able to do an indoor outdoor cat. I can only do an indoor cat. Right. So yeah. Yeah, there's no reason for me to think about going outside. Yeah. yeah. So when I grew, I had um two indoor cats. One of them, he would go outside do his thing, but he wasn't a a, a mice bringer backer. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. A mice bringer backer. Yeah. <laughs> he would go out do his thing and come back home clean. Like he didn't while out here just walking around a little right. bit. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. so uh when we lived together, uh mm-hmm. we had a we had a cat, Milo. Always like cur- I mean a lot of cats are curious, but he was a young cat, super curious. And like anytime the door was open, he'll try, he'll try to go out there. One day he actually got outside. Right, and it was I'll tell me if you remember this or not. I'm not right, sure right. if I remember this, but so he, I think he was probably outside for like six hours. We couldn't find him. You know, cats. You know, they're hella fast, yeah, they're agile. Yeah. So he ended up coming back, and like this, there was a lot of neighborhood cats, mm-hmm. right? So um, you know, cats are very like ter- territorial, right? So when he comes back, it it looked like he got jumped by like. <laughs> <laughs> it said, "Bro, you don't belong back here, bro." His me, his me out didn't even sound right. He's like. <laughs> He said, they real out here in these streets, man. That's how you know. <laughs> Yo, but uh, funny, we it? are at our 30 for 30. Kai, tell me what that is. We are at our oh. infamous Your Honor segment. I like to refer to it as our gym class. This is where we can be competitive in a way that means something to us because every day we're not out here playing basketball like Tate here. Right. So this is where we can do something that means something to us, and it's important to, to note that. These are not our personal opinions, views, and or thoughts. It's just, again, a way for us to get our competitive spirit and use it in a, a positive manner. Now, right? also explain on Tate's role. So today. yeah, so Tate, we we do have the honorable Tate here today. So today is a little bit different. Again, this is gonna be a bench trial, right? We have a judge here. Now, Tate doesn't necessarily have to pick a side, but after the cases have been presented, you can go and say what you think on the matter. All right. So without further ado, hey, huh? You got a jabble for me? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Said uh, yeah, about that. All right, <laughs> here we go. On today's docket, are we responsible for how others per- people perceive us? Once again, my apologies. I'm gonna take accountability for that one. Yeah. I messed up. I messed up. But um, I will be the prosecution, so I am arguing. Yes, we are responsible for how other people perceive us. Quiet in the courtroom, please. Your Honor, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, not only are we responsible. We have to start holding people accountable for these false images, videos, caption caps that they try to project out to the world just so they can be perceived as a great person and get a couple more likes, right? That being said, the defense has been charged with conspiracy to twist the untwistable. When I'm done presenting my case, there will be no doubt, your Honorable Tate, you will come back with one conclusion which being the right conclusion, and that's a guilty verdict. I'll turn it over to the defense. Your Honor, I will show the complete obvious that life is not a Sims video game, and we have no control whatsoever on how people perceive us. Turn it over to the prosecution. I like to call the defense up to the stand at this time. I am here. When we do this Your Honor segment, are you trying to win or to be found not guilty? I am trying to win. Okay. Would it be fair to say that it's your responsibility to convince the Honorable Tate today or the people that's watching at home or listening? Repeat the question, please. Would it be fair to say that it is your responsibility to convince the Honorable Tate and the jurors listening and or watching at home of your innocence? A hundo P. And what does a hundo P mean? Yes, sir. All right. All right. So would it also be fair to say that if you didn't prepare well enough and you lost and someone listening and or watching for the first time now perceives you as the loser is a direct result of your responsibility to prepare? No. So that's... You're yes. Not, all okay. Right. Yes. All right. You can you I, remove yourself from the stand and please do not perjure yourself again. All right? At this time. So... <clears throat> At this time, I'd actually like to introduce some evidence. Um, Your Honorable, can I introduce evidence? Okay. So I'm going to introduce evidence in the form of a message that I received, okay? This is the message that I received. I'm a slapathologist. I'll slap the shit out of you. That's what I do. All right. 
Sorry for the, the technical difficulties I had on that, right? So I received a message from someone telling me that they are a slap pathologist and they'll slap the shit out of me because that's what they do, right? <laughs> Am I not supposed to perceive that person as a threat? Are they not responsible for their actions of leaving that voicemail, which then is a direct result of why I perceive them as a threat? Look, Michael Jackson once said it best. ABC is as simple as one, two, three. I'm going to let that sink in and turn it over to the defense. Thank you. I'd actually like to call the Honorable Tate to the stand. How you doing, Tate? What's good, brother? I'm going to ask a few questions, and if you can answer as honest as possible, that would be great. Okay? I got you. All right. All right, so do you, you have a social media, right? Yes. Have you ever posted something that you were very proud of online? Yes. Is it reasonable to say some people probably took that as you bragging in any way or showing off? Possibly. And is that what you were doing? No. Thank you so much for your honesty. You can leave the stand. So, what we just heard was a good man being proud of his own accomplishments and others thinking he seen them as a target and was taking a shot at them. Are we to believe it's his fault for them now thinking he's self-centered and a jerk because he wanted to share a great moment? We all heard the old phrase about assuming before. When you assume, you make an ass out of you and me. So I'll allow you guys to keep listening to this ass, and I'll turn it over to the prosecution. We are now getting into our closing statements at this time, Your Honor. Your Honor, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, the action of plotting or conspiring, that's what you call a conspiracy, right? You heard the defense admit to plotting to win this case, a.k.a conspiring to twist the untwistable. So if you guys heard what I presented today, then I believe you will come back with the only right verdict there is to come back with, which is guilty. I thank you for your time, Your Honorable Judge Tate, and um, I rest my case. Your Honor, as a twin, I'm sure the prosecution agrees that we can't control how others perceive us. I'm sure he can tell you countless stories about back in high school when others saw or met him for the first time and thought he was as smart as me until they seen him having to use his fingers to count simple math problems like one plus five, right? If anyone for a moment ever thought we were responsible for how others perceived us, then I say good luck explaining to your kids after Halloween that everyone in the neighborhood don't want to harm them. I rest my case. Please, please, please meet us in the comments section and tell us either who won, who lost, or what you think about that. Yeah, your personal thoughts. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Tate, what, 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 you, yeah. what, what, what you think about that? Um, how others perceive us? Like, are, are you responsible for how someone else perceives you? I feel like we hold a responsibility. Mm. For so, how others perceive us. And what, what, but, okay, there you go. big but. He said, wait a minute now. <laughs> <laughs> like he's saying, we can't put too much on it as far as, you know, what we do as far as someone perceiving it, how, how, how they perceive us. Basically, we, we can't control that, right? We right. can't control it, but we do hold a responsibility. Right. So, like, like the, the example that you gave her when you had Tate on the stand, right? right. You asked Tate, do, have you ever posted something that you're proud of? Yeah. Right. He is responsible for making that post. Yes. Point blank period. Yeah. Now, he obviously he can't control how others are going to feel or take the information that he's putting out. Right. But you didn't have to post that onto Facebook. You're right. You're right. So, but, right. I, but it's, it's, right. it is a dangerous place to, because, um, all right, so my, my <laughs> wife, right? Uh, if I say my wife, that's Tiff, Tiff, Honey Mustard. That's, I'm talking about my wife, right? Yes, but I say my wife. Uh, my wife, she, a lot of people would say she has like, and we all heard this phrase, Arresting bitch face, right? Okay. You you never heard the phrase before? Oh yeah. You have? You have you heard the phrase? I have. All right. So is like, and she would tell you that's just my face, like you know what I mean? It's so when people, some people be like, oh, I thought you was stuck up, I thought you was mean, I thought you was rude. Is she responsible for that? Yes. Why, why is she? That's because if, if people told you, if, if countless amount of people told you that you have a resting bitch face, 
Then how about you look in the and I'm not, not honey mustard. I love yeah, you. hold on. I'm about I to say them fighting words, my boy. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what I'm saying is then I mean I've I've been told that I look mean before, right? So I make it <laughs> <laughs> all the time. So I make it, damn my bad, bro. <laughs> if I got you scared, my bad, bro. <laughs> no, nah, but seriously, so I make it my uh, 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 point of emphasis to like try to. Do what Tate's doing right now. Try to smile. Maybe not show teeth, but smile a little more, just so I don't give that perception. You, know, off. you get you get the 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 Caucasian smile. That's the eyebrows. The eyebrows. <laughs> That's the eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you, I mean, realistically, bro, you do play a big part in the perception you give off to the world. Perhaps I mean I, I I agree with Tate in the sense that like we do hold some responsibility, I guess, yeah. for how others can perceive us, but it's not. I don't I don't I don't want to say it's a 50-50 split, but at the end of the day, like you can never because there's again, we're twins, right? There's right. people who have preconceived notions of you just by meeting me. And okay. is that your fault at all? Right. No. All right. So with that being said, I mean <laughs> boom, bada, bang, bang, ba. We, 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 oh! <laughs> <laughs> we got <Danny. laughs> We gonna we gonna leave that like this, bro. You like that? We're gonna leave that yeah, like this. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. By saying so, <laughs> <laughs> you, there there are some things that you have no control over. Right. But there are absolutely things that you are responsible for how people perceive you. Yeah. That that's how I want to leave it because yeah. that's the truth. Like that. Yeah, that's the best like way that. to put it. Yeah, appreciate right, so your backup. Let, let me. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I mean, take what's for both sides. I mean, because yeah, right. at the end of the day, there's no right or wrong. I mean, every there's a lot of different ingredients to that pie, right? We're All right. So uh, according to uh, LinkedIn.com slash post. These are some reasons why people may not take accountability, and um, I'll ask for you guys' thoughts after. Um, they don't feel they have the authority. They're scared. They're not confident enough. They don't care enough. Or one that's becoming bigger to me and probably you too in this coaching space, they don't realize how important they are. Right. There, there, was, there was one more. There was one more. Go ahead. Um, they don't see others, especially leaders, Modeling that accountability, like in, so, okay. it's not an environment yeah. of accountability. I don't Everybody think not to see too much of accountability. It's not a very tough thing to see within a person, right? Well, right. I mean, like, let's right. say if if you like if you at a workplace, right, and your your boss does something wrong, and he never admits to doing something wrong, like how you called me out, and how I was like, this is K speech, like you was like, nah, take accountability, bro. If I kept on saying this is K, like, then I'm not t I'm not holding myself accountable. That's a fact. So that's that's what they mean by. So wait, so which one are like? Do you guys both feel like you hold yourself accountable now? Tate first. Tate. A lot of room for improvement, but yeah. For the most part, you yes. do. How about you, Kay? Yeah, I do. But if you were, if where you was gonna go is like which one of those that if I'm not, I would say um, a big one and not so like as I'm getting older and I feel like I'm getting smarter and wiser. But a, a big one coming up was I, I just wasn't confident. I wasn't confident in myself. Right, right. So like I didn't. I, Hold myself accountable. Like well, I don't even know what's going on. Like that's that's what I felt. But but real quick though, you said younger though. I'm asking you right now as the person you oh, are like, today. Right now, like I I hold like I hold myself accountable. Just let me, let me just give a uh, take people down Story Boulevard. It's not really Story Boulevard. Uh, me me and Kai, um, for this pod, right? We we have goals. We we have action plans. Things that we have to get done. Now Kai called me out on something, and uh, me being accountable first, I, I do have to admit sometimes. I can be a better listener. Sometimes when I feel attacked, I get defensive, and I'm not really listening to listen. I'm listening to I just want to say that this is the first time I ever heard Kay say this, so I appreciate you, my brother. Hey, yo, don't ever cut me <laughs> off for that bullshit, eh? <laughs> <laughs> no, but so, so sometimes I'm, I'm just trying to immediately get a response to defend myself, right? Right. Instead of, and then from me doing that, I don't communicate myself the best, right? I don't advocate for myself what I'm exactly, I'm, I'm not going to articulate myself the best. So, yeah, uh, uh I don't know exactly where I was going with that, but accountability is important, and I do hold myself accountable. Okay, now, no, so, no, oh, so go ahead, go ahead, take. go finish. No, oh, no, 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 no. That, I'm gonna bring it back. Oh, I'm gonna bring that's it back. Why, hold on, that's why I was bringing. So uh, you asked me which one of those, right? That would I? Yeah, right now, because you ran from that. So yeah. right now, which one? I, I didn't. Run, I'm saying I do hold myself. If I didn't, I would have never came to that realization. Okay, but right now, right? What would be the one of these seven reasons, right? Which one are you more likely? Oh, what, oh, reason, okay, yeah, yeah, got you, got you, got you, got you. And maybe we, me and Tate, will agree on this one. Not sure. I'm not just trying to like group you in with me, but it'll be great. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that uh, I don't realize how important I am to some people. Oh, okay, right. Like I've had countless amount of people, and I told me and Kai talked about this, and and maybe it's happened to you too. Like I don't see things that I'm doing in life 
to me, since it's not me reaching my goal, it don't seem like I, I did anything. And I, I would have people come to me and say, I'm proud of you. Right, you you you're doing great, and but to me, since I didn't reach what I was set out to reach, like I don't I don't see that at all. Go ahead. You said when you were when you were younger, yeah. it was because you wasn't Confidence. confident. Yeah. But I feel like that's almost the same thing. What you don't realize how important you are, then I feel like you kind of lack some confidence. Not, Say some take. First off, does, does that make sense? Yeah. Right. A little. It's like, are you are you more confident no. now? So I I'm confident in myself, right? Okay. So let, let's say let's say our goal, and I'm just gonna like throw something out here. Yep. Let's say like a goal for me was to get to for us to get like a podcast deal, right? Yep. To to get on, uh, let's say uh, a deal with Disney, okay. right? And uh, if people are coming up to me saying, "Yo, you yo, big ups, bro, you doing good things," to me, I didn't reach my goal. So like, what, what you mean, big up? Like, I ain't, I'm not doing nothing. I'm you know what I'm saying? So I don't, that, that doesn't have anything to do with the confidence I have in myself. I think I will get there. But since I am not there yet, to me, I, I'm not taking that uh, you're giving me praise. And I feel like I am not deserving of that praise because I haven't accomplished what I set out to accomplish. You got thoughts? Why are we like that? That's a good, that's a good question. Yeah, that's a great question. That's a good question. Like why? Uh, it could be a good thing and probably uh, something on the back end that we're probably not seeing. Uh-huh. But um, we just motivate it. We want to get to a certain spot, right. a certain place, and um, somebody congratulating us. Just like, yeah, yeah. good looking, bro. You, but you know what? Uh, me and Kai get- had a moment earlier where um, he just he brought up our one month anniversary, right? And um, so for a long time, I was, and you said, why are we like this? And he asked me this earlier too. I don't know, but um, for a long time, I didn't like to take vacations, right? Like I wouldn't go, th- and then people would say, why? I'd be like, what have I done? I don't deserve, I don't deserve it, it. To be on vacation. Yeah, well, I'm vacation. going on vacation. Yeah, like what am I? Yeah, <laughs> I don't. I don't <laughs> what like am I? That, I kind of don't like that word either. What vacation? Yeah. <laughs> what am I vacating? Right, like I. Yeah. <laughs> but going back to the why are we like that? Now, were you finna touch on that? No. Well, I I, I, I have no answer. I don't have an answer why we're like that. I mean, I think we're we're certain people are hardwired to. It's it's it's, in basketball terms, they say like championship or bust. Right. I, so, okay, I, 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 I'm going to attempt to answer that question. Why are we word. like that? And this is just for us. I can't speak for the people that came before us, like the generation. Word. I think that we're like that because growing up, we didn't see people get celebrated, right? So it's just not – and like, it's foreign to us. And that's why I think, you know, we play a big part. But I, I still think that you, um, you know, juke that I the question. You said, uh, isn't it a lack of confidence? No, 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 no. Oh, the, the, the question being, um, out of the seven reasons why people um, don't take accountability, you said right now it will be because you don't um, realize how important you are, right? Right. So can, do you, would you have an example of you not taking accountability because you didn't realize how important you was? All right. So um, one thing that I try to do, well, one thing that I pride myself on is no matter what, the relationships that I've gained through life, I pride myself on keeping these same relationships and not changing, right? I, I know that there's things in life that's going to happen where we all drift apart, and that's natural, right, right? Right. But in that, so if, for for an example, I mean, I don't want to, like, say anybody's names, but if somebody reached out to me, like, I I have people, like, certain relationships where somebody reaches out to me, and for me, I, I feel like it's, it's a job or, like, a duty or a responsibility of mine to guide this person. And, and sometimes, like, I'm like, nah, like, I, I just can't. I can't today, right? And it's because, and re- realistically, to this person, I'm their I'm their world, right? Got and you. I don't see, I, like, I don't see that at the moment. Oh, yeah, I appreciate you breaking it down, oh, my brother. Yeah, breaking my boy tried it down. Not, nah, not nah, just because it seemed like you was dancing around it. So I just, there's somebody that can relate to to that. Got so it's important that you said that. Got like you. somebody can relate well, to well, all. Well, why of you was grilling me and Tate like a shish kebab? Yeah. Um, what about you? Me, it, it, it's two. Um, one if. If the something is not clear or I don't have a perfect understanding of my role in something, then then I don't really I'm not gonna necessarily hold myself accountable because the direction the instructions wasn't clear. So I didn't know what I had to actually do. Mm, okay. So that that's one. And then um to be honest, and this might be I gotta work on this, if I don't care enough. Mm. I like especially as I get older, there's a lot of things I'm learning how to like legit not give a fuck about. Right? Like I think it's important to not so give a fuck about. Can things. we say like would work be like because you said before on a previous pod at this point you you, you have a job for money, right? right? And I didn't say that on a pod that was off air, but work oh, is a well. thing that I do not care about, and I do just do that for for money. Right. I care about this podcast. I care about uh, my brother, and I care about all the relationships that we have fostering those things. So like like Tate, I had a show called Don't Talk with Sprinkles. Tate was on that show. I care about our relationship. I know that Tate's reliable, and like he mentioned um in the start of the pod. I was late, but I do appreciate <laughs> his time. 
Hey, yo! This guy. But you know what? Was I late or was he early? He was early and <laughs> he was, was early. Late. Both things can be true. <laughs> Damn, I, I did try like, to go in the space. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, I was well. a little, just a little responsible. Yeah. <laughs> what, 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 about, what about you, Tate? If you had to, and I'll, I'll read them off again because, I mean, we both yeah, talked for a while. Yeah, please. so uh, the, the reasons were uh, they, don't, they don't feel they had the authority, they're scared, or I'll say, I'm going to say you're because I'm talking to you right mm-hmm. now. <laughs> you're scared, you're not confident enough, you don't care enough, or you don't realize how important you are. I'm just very pessimistic, bro. Why? Um, <laughs> why is a great question always? Yeah, so. yeah. Well, because he that was a great question that he posed to us. Like, why are we like that? So yeah. Why? Um. Oh, wait, 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 real quick. Um, pe- pessimistic for people who don't know what that means. Can you explain what what that means? It just you know it's not enough. Like you always just feel like want more, you know, more. I gotta do more. more, more. Got to do more. Got to do more. And um, I just feel like I you know same kind of goes into uh, like that. Well, saying like about the goals. Yeah, I'm not there. And I, I, and I feel like um. I should have done a lot of things, so I feel like on the mm. back end now, mm. like it should be like triple to kind of make up in some type of way. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? So, so yeah, you're you're kind of you're kind of putting a lot of pressure on yourself, right? Yeah, you, you put a lot yeah, on yeah. your plate because you feel like you got to make up for for what yeah, you wasn't for doing sure, before. Bro, for sure. Yeah, well, yeah, I don't even know. I don't know why we do that either. And um, yeah, I don't. It's not a good thing. It, it, it's, it's not. I, 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 yeah. Well, like I said, like this growing up, just what we saw, what we didn't see. Yeah. But more importantly, I think yeah. And I'll sit here and praise it to like for myself, like it works for me. It does this. It, right. It's not a good thing. It's not, yeah. It's not. It's not. You feel me? Yeah. yeah so so with that, I just want to say again, uh, me and Kai had this conversation. Uh, so when we had our one month month anniversary, that was like the first time like we ever like celebrated ourselves in any. Word. Way type of form, mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. I think it's important. Um, and I know generally we get into that later, like a little, like when we're about to close out the section. But being above average when it comes to, well, not responsibility, but just 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 make sure you celebrate the sm- some small things. Absolutely, like, it's important. And exactly. that goes back exactly. to earlier what I said: reward. It's important to tie a yes, reward sir. to something. Yeah, not so much celebration, but reward is a, a right. good way to. Like well, keep your balance. So celebrating your own, yourself, you yeah, could be, balance, you know, yeah. if you don't, if you're not a drinker, maybe you go out and you finally get a drink, or right. you get that chocolate double fudge. Cake that you like. That's what I'm getting when I get, go home. I got a chocolate <laughs> piece of cake that I can't wait to devour. So Some yeah, just, plastic. Uh, yeah, you know what? I got, uh, it's, it's in a, it's in a cardboard box actually. Oh, that works. Yeah, yeah. yeah. plastic yeah. container a little bit better. You can see it. It's, so it's not from cheesecake. Right. That's what he means. Yeah, That's yeah, what he's yeah, getting yeah. at. It's yeah, not from cheesecake. Nah, it's from the Mediterranean <laughs> Grill in Thompson, New York. So oh, shout out to y'all. Yeah, 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 um, real, real quick, I wanted to get into a social experiment that I saw with responsibility, oh, yes, yes. responsibilities of strangers, right? So in, it's a video. You can watch this on YouTube. It's called The Social Experiment, Responsibility of Strangers, right? So there's a girl on a beach, and she like she's setting up her, her little spot on the beach. She got her towel. She got her chair. And she don't talk to anybody, right? Okay. And then she puts down her – she got an iPod uh, and a speaker. Okay. She puts that down. Don't talk to nobody. And she leaves. And then a guy comes along, steals the iPod and speaker. Nobody does anything. Rewind it, rewind it. They do the same thing, but this time she has small talk with a couple people around her. So this time, when she leaves, the guy comes take it. All of them are like, "Hey, what you doing, bro?" And they 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 chase the guy down to get the iPod. And like that, that's interesting to me. Like how uh, one of our episodes we talk about communication, how communication is big, right? And this just ties back into that. So if you want to make somebody feel responsible in any way, shape, or form, it is important to communicate that, right? Or communicate at all. How? How? Wh- what was your thoughts um, when you heard him? I agree with that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I, it's it's great because if that happened to me too, I'm, I, I, was, I was thinking like. While I'm watching this video, I'm like, how many times have, like, strangers or whatever, like, you know, basketball, we're, we're big into basketball uh-huh. sports. If we go to the gym and we don't talk to no, if we don't talk to none of these guys, we just hooping, whatever. If, we see, if, if I see something happen, I don't care, bro. I don't know you. But if we talking <laughs> and we vibe out a little bit, then, you know, I kind of Connection. Feel, yeah, the connection, connection. Then I feel responsible it's a little like bit. It's like somewhat of an obligation as right. a... It's like almost a good person, a, a small responsibility at that point. Yeah, you feel me? it's a responsibility of a good person to yeah. step in yes. and do something. Yes. Yes. At the same time, though, let's say like when there's people on the side of the road that need help and whatever, like I'm weary. Exactly, <laughs> <laughs> I'm weary to, to stop and help, even though as a good person, uh, I mean, I don't know because. Good person versus smart person. I choose to be the smart person in a lot of situations. Right, 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 right. So, <laughs> so you're saying I wasn't smart for for helping out Johnny Dane the other day. I'm I'm not saying that, but what I am saying I didn't help him out. Okay. <laughs> what, what I am saying is going back to that experiment. Um, if I seen the the guy take her her thing, whether she talked to me her or iPod. not, I I still if we didn't talk in that conversation, we didn't talk about 
um her relationships or whatever because I might still think that that's her boyfriend or something. Yeah. Like, what was the obvious sign that that was a thief? You know what I'm saying? Like that could have been her cousin or I don't know. Like yeah. so when they when they in the experiment when uh, nobody helped, that's what they said. Like when she didn't have conversation with anybody, that's like one of the reasons they said like I don't know who he is to her. Right. And when she did talk to people, I don't like they didn't really like you couldn't really hear what they, what they were saying. But it was just like you know, hi, how, how long have you been out here? Just small stuff like that. Then they just assume like nah, bro. Like explain yourself. Who are you? You tell us who you are. If you say you're the boyfriend, maybe we'll leave you alone. But that's so. Yeah, that, I, I thought that was pretty cool. Was I don't cool think story. that's everywhere, though. I what do you mean? In certain, uh, I think there can be a place where you can go and not really too much speak to anyone. You could just like speak to who you might have came in with. Right. Okay, you might leave your phone. No, or I something. I hundred percent agree. Like, and it it does it does matter like the environment, the environment, yes, but also yes. the the people, the people to, that yes, that's that, there. Yeah, right, that's you could have been there on the right day. Like, if I was there, I think I probably would have said something regardless. If you said something to me or not. Right. However, I do understand the communication aspect, how you communicate with somebody, you get that connection, then they will have like a, a moral responsibility to say something or speak on your behalf. You, you don't you don't think <laughs> so? What I, what I th- I'm trying to think in that situation right there, if I if the person didn't speak to me and I'm just sitting there, what I what I say to the person I'm with, like, yo, look, they they taking a <laughs> Oh, okay, if you've never or, seen them in your life. Yeah, if that happened and the person that left their speaker in their iPhone didn't speak to me, I don't yeah. know if I'm going to say, like, yo, look. But what about, what about, it, or I'm be like, yo, what are you doing? Okay, so uh, what, what, what I was going to get to because next Because that was, matters, no, especially it, me. It does matter. No, but even saying something to your boy, like, you don't say nothing to her, but that that's still doing something responsible. That's yeah. a still responsible step. Because yeah, he, right. he, he might. He might have the courage. Like, yo. But so what, what, what I also was going to get into, and they didn't do this in the experiment, and I wish they did. Mm-hmm. Now, I think another component to that is, like, the, the male-female thing. Absolutely. Right? Like, Absolutely. so, yeah, sure. no matter if the dude oh, talks sure. to me regardless and somebody leaves, I don't know, bro. Like, you're supposed to handle your business, bro. <laughs> That's yours. You should. Yeah. But a female, I might be, you know, I mean, my wife, I mean, you know what I'm saying? We getting our hey. shit back. We getting our shit back. I can tell you this, though. <laughs> I think, I, I think, I'm assuming, and I know what they say about assuming, but all three of us here and most people, I think, and this goes for males, right? Even if a female doesn't talk to you, does not talk to you, and you see that she gets hit by a male, I uh, think, you know, 10 out of 10 times, you stepping in. Oh, yeah. I, I can't yeah, tolerate so that, right? So I, I think in today's work. time, like, People, that's that's a man's responsibility, to step regardless in. Right. of who, when, when, where, Wait, why. you think back then it wasn't? Yeah. It was more I fair mean, game back but, then. But I, a little bit, but just um, everything's televised, the, the, the phones, oh, okay, everything. Like, okay. You, like, oh, okay. I didn't I even like, think about that at all. Like, let's just go on social media. Like, if something happens to a girl and there's a dude around. Oh, oh yeah. They, they think the responsible thing is to bring out their phone. dude around. Well, no, because they're going to see this guy was there and he ain't do nothing. Right? Yo, you yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, It's that guy. So you watch that girl get stumped out, bro? So, so that's the yeah. good part of social even media. If, then. Even if he didn't really want to. Right. Or if... Like, yeah, that like comes, that's not even his type. Yeah, but that's a double edged sword. He might know. Nah, somebody's gonna see me not doing nothing. Yeah, but because what, what if he wasn't that. even capable? Is that cap? Nah, nah that's not nah, cap. Nah. That's, not. that's a hundo p. No, but if, if you're not capable, like I said last episode, you don't necessarily have to fight. But you can. No, I know. Okay. All right, so I mean, I was about to give an extreme example, but I'm gonna go ahead because I'm. You go, know, ahead, go, I'm ahead. go ahead. If it was somebody in a wheelchair, right? A guy in a wheelchair. Okay. Right. There's a female getting jumped, stumped out by three dudes. That's crazy. It is crazy. crazy. Uh, and like, there's nobody around besides this guy in the wheelchair. Like, what do we expect to happen? But that's when you use your wheelchair privilege because nah, I, we get we supposed to because he says a recording now. Unless this was like a a, a storefront camera or something like that, we gotta get on the person that was recording. Girl, oh, guy, absolutely. don't matter. Yeah, they absolutely. gotta get it right. Absolutely, <laughs> that's all part of it too. Oh yeah, that is all part, <laughs> of, all part it. of it. Yeah. Oh, so, so that's what he meant by today's world. Cause, yeah, because people just something going down. You just recording it. Like, yo, what the. What's going on, bro? Yeah. Your moral responsibility, you got But I mean, have. but that, that's also a, a big thing, though. We do need people to record stuff, though. Like, it's, I'm saying, though, I don't want to get too much into that, but <laughs> it's important to, like, that people are aware of things. That brings awareness to things. So, um, anyhow, so the topic was accountability and responsibility. Yes, so, Kay, how do you feel people could be above average? So, being above average when it comes to responsibility and accountability, first, we all, whether we want to admit it or not, we all have responsibilities, right? Right. Mm-hmm. So, in your responsibilities, own them. Own your responsibilities. And I think just that point blank period is how you're going to be above average when it comes to accountability and responsibility because at the end of the day, nobody can – for your success, you shouldn't be able to blame anybody else but yourself. Right. So – when it comes to accountability and responsibility, that's what I think. Got anything on that? Like, how can someone be above average in terms of accountability or responsibility? Uh, I feel that. Um, okay. 
even though, I, like, even though, like, uh, like I don't blame nobody for anything. I still right. think I'm like, I don't think I'm above average still though. Okay, so okay. so you giving passes out? That's what it sounds like. You giving passes out? I ain't blaming you for that, but you know. Yeah. Nah, nah. Well, nah, well, bro. whether you think you're above average, uh, I'm just saying above average oh, yeah, when it comes yeah, yeah. to I accountability can, and responsibility. Like I, I see some people that I feel like, um, okay, um, and I might be tooting your horn, tooting your horn, but um, I feel like just this, this whole, the whole setup, everything right. is above average responsibility and accountability for what you're doing. Right. right? You get what I'm saying? And yeah. I appreciate you saying that. It can be yeah. half ass. It can be half ass, like super duper easily. Like you feel me? Oh, I gotta get right, right hand, but you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the left is kind of disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> so you know, right? Like though every all y'all are like above average. You feel what I'm saying? I appreciate yeah. uh, yes, sir. Like, I, what, what we doing right now? Because it's impossible to do this how you're doing it without like being super duper responsible. Yeah, appreciate in that. Some Taking way, even if you're outside of here, you right. know what I'm saying? Like. Respect, brother. Thank you. Yes, so sir. how we're going to close the show out is um, information a guru would make you pay for. Now, what this is, uh, um, people try to take advantage of our ignorance. Ignorance will is expensive, pretty much is what I'm trying to say. So they they these gurus will sell you classes or courses of basic information or sometimes the information that doesn't work. It's just false, right? right. right. So um, Red Rover Relief. I'm going to say that again. Red Rover Relief. That is a program. We was talking about dogs earlier, and I got a little bit emotional, right? So Red Rover Relief provides financial assistance and grants and additional resources for people who or pet owners who might need a little help in terms of financials, right? So go to redroverrelief.com if you need help to be a better pet owner. Now, some people may know this. Some people might be great pet parents. This doesn't apply to you. Either how, this is information a guru would make you pay for. Nice. Now, remember, it is important to remember, being competitive is a positive attribute. Being average, average is a choice. Average blows. Average blows.